when a child comes up with an idea and it's really clever. It really gives me a buzz. The bouncy castle car. Uh, this is a robot spoon. An odd sock sorter. We really think that children have the best ideas because they do not have any limits to their thinking. They don't think about what is possible, what is not possible. To take children's ideas seriously, I think it really gives them um, a self-confidence to keep on going, inventing. I'm Dominic Wilcox, I'm an artist and designer. I'm the chief inventor at Little Inventors. And I'm Catherine Mengarden, Chief Educator at Little Inventors. Little Inventors is a project to find amazing ideas. And we do that by asking children to use their brilliant free imagination to come up with their invention ideas and draw them down. And then we ask local makers and manufacturers, um, skilled scientists to take seriously the most interesting ideas and turn them into real things for exhibition. The world has many problems and challenges as we know and we need a lot more inventive thinkers to solve those problems. And in order to do that, we've got to encourage young people to start thinking of those ideas, to look around at the world and find problems that they come up with ideas to solve. I think what I like about the word invention or inventor is that it's a very friendly word, it's a fun word in a way. So it welcomes people from the artistic side and also people from the science side. Because drawing is a very natural thing for children to do, it's much easier to express your ideas through drawing, often much easier than using words for a lot of the children. That is really the shortest distance between the child's imagination and, and us. And then we can take it seriously and push it further than a simple model. The way we work is we create challenges uh, for schools generally or for museums or for organisations. The principle remains always the same. We want to invite children to draw invention ideas. And then the best ones, the ones that we call the most ingenious ideas, we ask makers or designers and artists to bring them to life. So we'll choose a particular subject matter. We've done food waste, for example. We love the idea by Ruman. You could have this alarm cup you could program it by saying, in five days I need an alarm to tell me to eat the fruit. So you put it in there and then you know exactly when you have to eat the fruit. In Canada we're doing the, what it would be like living in space. There's all different types of ideas, like a moon roller coaster. You know, I think this is a brilliant idea. We need inventions to help people live on the moon, but we also need a bit of fun. And so over the last couple of weeks I've been working on making it. The child is the client, so it's sort of changing the dynamic. We're looking up to the children. I really love the, the idea of the collaboration element of this project. It's important that the children describe their invention to the makers. Quite often they'll visit the makers and, and, and learn how things are made. Thomas, he came up with a worry shredder. It's a box, it's got cards on the top and you can write your worries and it's got a shredder in it so you just put it through and then it sort of prints out words of wisdom for you on how to sort of deal with worries and then you can even get a chocolate at the end. I decided to invent this so I can, uh, I can get over my worries and to try and make other people happy. Children look around them, they see things and they want to respond to it and they often do not have any ways to do so. You can really apply this lens of invention and really give them a way of sort of thinking, this is how I can bring my own voice to this. So basically it's like a Zimmer frame for like old people and it detects like um, cars and stuff, like when people cross the road. Some people in my family, they can't really see very well, so they'll like have trouble crossing roads and stuff. And now I'm trying to do more things like it. So we have about 10,000 inventions on the website. We accept the bonkers crazy ideas as well as the perfectly practical ones. It's just like a walker for people that don't like walking but they like eating sweets. I invented it for my sister to stop moaning and now she stopped moaning. It's good now. She stopped moaning but she still moans though. I have to get another invention to stop her from moaning even more. 
That is really one of the aims of, of Little Inventors, hopefully encouraging children to gain a passion for invention. Emmy is, um, is autistic, she's got sensory overload really, so um, loud noises can be a real problem for her. But equally, she doesn't want to be noticed. So she thought that she could have these replacement ears that would provide her with a bit of quiet. After all this, we received a, a fantastic message from her parents who said, having done that, gave her real confidence in her own ideas. Uh, apparently, we can't really shut her up these days, so there we go. Invention and creativity is, is like, a, it's like a muscle. And if you stop using it, if you stop doing it, you, you lose it in a way. And that's the thing about creativity. That's why it's so important to encourage children to be creative and then get it through to adulthood where they can really do things that make the world a better place.